So today we are looking at a live mousetrap that I bought just for the packaging. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding guys. But for reals, we are looking at and testing, hopefully, the Humane Mouse Kit live mousetrap that is marketed as capturing smart mice, which I think is actually good because uh, if you've been trapping mice for a long time, you do know some of them do seem to actually be smarter than others. Anyways, I'm going to take a look at how this thing works. It is by far the most complicated live capture trap I've ever seen, which normally I don't like, but, uh, but hey, you know, if it's to catch smart mice, then maybe it should be complicated. Anyways, you just take, uh, what is this called? This is door A. This is for really, like, genius mice if the doors are labeled alphabetically. You take door A out, you put some peanut butter back here behind this plate that has holes in it so the mouse can smell the peanut butter, but it can't actually get to it, which I think is good because if you've watched my other videos, you know uh, peanut butter can be a bad thing because um, I've never actually had this happen, but what I've read is uh, if you use too much peanut butter and the mouse gets to it, they can choke on it, and since mice can't puke, they don't, they don't have a regurgitation reaction, uh, they can actually die by peanut butter, which sounds awful. But anyways, fortunately I've never had that happen, but this trap I think strives to prevent that from happening by making it so the mouse can smell the peanut butter, which is by far the best thing to attract mice with, by the way, and uh, it can't actually get to it. So that's that's a plus. Anyways, you take that off, put peanut butter in there, which I've already done to save us some time. Then you uh, open up door B, yeah it's door B, and uh, at the same time you press down on this little uh, platform right here that causes this latch to go down just long enough so you can get door B to get hooked on it, and then uh, you put this back on, and when the mouse comes in, he steps on that platform and spring-loaded, which is the only spring-loaded live capture trap I've ever I've ever seen. So that's uh, that's kind of cool, kind of distinctive. Although I'm not sure if it'll work. Sometimes I don't like spring-loaded stuff. Anyways, we're gonna reset this and uh, put door A back on here, and we're just gonna go over to our um, our trap cam, which I have set up over here. And like I usually do, I just set up some uh, some tissue paper on the floor over here so the camera can see it real easily. We're going to leave this guy here and turn our trap cam on. And we will come back tomorrow and check on this, guys, okay? See you then. Okay, so smart mouse or not, it looks like this guy just got pwned in, in a completely humane and non-lethal way, of course. So anyways, we're going to take him outside and release him now. All right, well, it is kind of a dreary day out here. I almost feel a little bit bad about uh, letting this guy go, but uh, I feel a lot worse, actually, about leaving him in my garage. So we're going we're gonna to let him go. First, I'd just like you to notice how the... Uh, the peanut butter has stayed right here where we put it in door A, and the mouse has not been able to touch it and uh, suffocate himself on it. So that's a very good thing, very positive thing about this trap. We're just going to let this guy go now by opening door A up. Hey bud. You can come out. Is it okay? I think he needs a little help. <laughs> oh no! You gotta go! Okay, if you remember in the beginning, I was pretty unsure about this whole multiple door spring-loaded system that this trap uses, mainly just because it seemed like there were too many potential things that could go wrong. You know what, in the end though, those things didn't go wrong. So after all, I can recommend the Smart Mouse Trap Humane Mouse Kit to uh, anybody who's especially interested in not harming the mouse with the bait, that is the peanut butter in this case, because uh, this will prevent them from suffocating on it, hopefully, unless they somehow break through that door, which I don't think they're going to. 
Also, uh, you know, I'd, I'd mainly recommend it to someone who's just trying to capture one mouse at a time and doesn't mind checking it fairly frequently because obviously the idea with a live capture trap is that the mouse gets out alive and uh, that won't happen if you don't check it just about every day. All right, well, I will post the link to this trap on Amazon in the video description, just like usual. If you do make the decision to go ahead and purchase this or uh, any of my other traps, I would really appreciate it if you use my link for that. Also, thank you guys for the likes that I've been getting. Thank you for the positive comments. That's so encouraging. As long as that keeps coming, we're going to keep the videos coming right here. So lots more great stuff coming. Lots more traps that are just sitting around in my place that I have not reviewed yet. Lots more that I plan on ordering to review. Uh, if you guys have anything that you'd like to see me review, as long as it's a live capture trap, uh, let me know. We'll see what we can do about that. And uh, basically just lots more great stuff coming. So if you're not subscribed already, make sure you go ahead and do that so that you can benefit from our tests, our reviews, and of course our awesome in action trap cam videos and become a mouse trap genius yourself. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching.